stress happens in the world. Things are stressful. Work is stressful. Uh, things happen in our families. People get sick, as we see with this COVID. How we respond to that stress matters a lot. We can take that stress and be quite mindful and appropriate and productive in our responding, or we can get anxious in an unproductive way. A small measure of anxiety can serve as either an elbow in the ribs, like, hey, hey, self, pay attention. Something's going on here. We don't want things to get out of hand. But if anxiety takes over, it can become paralyzing and stop you from thinking clearly. And if that's happening, it's very, very important to notice that and try to attend to it. So that when you're feeling like a lot of anxiety and you can't even think clearly, then you need to stop and help yourself get emotionally regulated. Take some deep breaths, eat something, have a cold glass of water, take a walk around the block, call a friend, do some self-care measures to help yourself reorient yourself so that you can think clearly about this stressful event that doesn't have to be anxiety producing in a debilitating way. Again, a small measure of anxiety can help you think about what it is you really need and want to do to address the problem. There are sort of three different types of breathing that I recommend. One is breathing in and out to the count of 10 slowly, like you're blowing up a balloon and letting out the air slowly. Uh -huh. Another one is breathing in to the count of five, holding it for five and breathing out, doing that 10 times. And then another one, which is a really odd one, <laughs> is to breathe in through one nostril and breathe out through the other. So if you're really dysregulated, try doing that. You won't be able to focus on anything else other than that. <laughs> so you hold that one nostril, then you breathe out through the other nostril. You breathe in through one, breathe out, breathe out through the other. And if you do that 10 times, you'll be so relaxed. And, and yoga is also a very good, a good way to recenter yourself. These are definitely meditative, mindful practices. Then... When we get emotionally dysregulated, Bernie, that means we're too anxious. We can't think clearly. And the problem is we can't then move to action and take the necessary steps to address the parts we can. The other part here is there's a lot about life we don't have control over. And we have to figure out what can we do something about and what do we just have to manage. 